I ended up in Canada for about a month looking at a public health story that I thought was ostensibly about very high HIV infection rates in First Nations communities, in Indigenous communities. Documentary photographer Daniela Zaltzman grew up in Montgomery County, but her work has brought her to various countries. While reporting on HIV-positive Indigenous Canadians, she started hearing stories about residential schools, a system the government created in the 1870s to forcibly assimilate Indigenous children into mainstream culture. I was touching on concepts like cultural genocide and intergenerational trauma and things that, you know, we're starting to have real conversations about, but are still, you know, very hard to depict through photography. More than 80,000 children passed through the system. Saltzman couldn't show the schools since the last one closed in the 1990s, so she came up with an alternate idea. I photographed them, and then based on our conversations and interviews and their experiences, I went in search of a secondary image um, that represented their experience, the site where they went to boarding school, their memories, and I created composite double exposure images that overlaid the sites of their experiences with their portrait. Zaltzman wants her images to inspire others to dig deeper into history that they might not otherwise be exposed to. That's why she's founded a nonprofit called Women Photograph in hopes of fully including female perspectives on life. If, if women make up 50% of the population but are responsible for only 15% of the visual record we're creating of our collective history, um, that becomes very dangerous. So Women Photograph is working to sort of push that number um, closer to the 50% mark.